Hi guys, Killian here. A member from my community asked me to talk about tilt, about tilting in Valorant and video games in general. Tilt is actually a term, a thing that comes from poker mostly, and you can use it basically in any kind of competitive environment nowadays. And it's a really important topic that I want to talk about now because tilting often makes people go on the biggest lose streaks and as actually for a lot of people the reason that they cannot properly climb ranks because they're sabotaging themselves to kind of almost intentionally lose a lot of games while on these tilting sprees so what is tilt quickly tilt is basically when you sort of get really frustrated about yourself with the game and you start playing in a very negative emotional state and you might even consciously think you're still giving your best but unconsciously or subconsciously you're like starting to self-sabotage yourself starting to play a lot worse starting to make a lot more like impulsive emotional decisions and reacting emotionally to every situation and that often just leads to playing a lot worse losing a lot more games so even throwing games intentionally losing games intentionally it's like when a poker player gets really frustrated because he had bad luck or something and he cannot control his emotions and suddenly he starts just like moving all in on his next hands even though it's an absolutely terrible play uh, and then losing even more money on top of that and that kind of thing you have as well in games like Valorant where people start playing rank games and at some point they start losing some rank games they did their best they lost it anyway because it's solo queue there's just you cannot like control everything and then they get really frustrated and in the next games they like start to self-sabotage themselves they start to like play emotionally start to maybe even harass teammates or something and just sabotage the game to like feed that negative emotion and subconsciously wanting to lose even more because what happens with tilt is it's sort of like a pain that gets triggered in you that has nothing really to do with the game or with your other teammates like our mind makes all kind of excuses like why you're frustrated now uh, the game is so the hit registration is so frustrating or the teammates are so frustrating but usually this kind of emotion that you're feeling while on tilt is not coming from the game it's triggered through the game but for most people it's an emotion that stems from childhood from like things like feeling unworthy feeling of not being good enough not getting the attention that they deserved like many people nowadays many young people especially run around with these emotions stored still in the body they've never released them because unfortunately a lot of us grow up not getting enough attention from our parents sometimes not receiving enough love from our parents and yeah just starting to grow up with a feeling of unworthiness unworthiness and just not feeling good enough to be loved and these kind of things get triggered even then when we're older in video games how do i know this well i've been playing video games for over 20 years and i've kind of still self-studied myself over the years and as i've gotten older and older i started to realize all of these patterns because when I was a bit younger, when I was in my teenage years, I was struggling super hard with like being emotionally involved in the games, getting really tilted, getting super frustrated, even to the point of getting depressed and almost suicidal. And at some point I started to really reflect and see that these emotions are not from the games itself. I'm in, I'm in love with playing the games but the games can trigger them because we attach ourselves so much to winning and achieving ranks because that gives us a sense of achievement a sense of we're good we've achieved something so this is basically all it means in tilt with, with tilt it's basically a construct where your expectation is 
different to the result you're seeing like you're expecting you want to see yourself win you want to prove yourself you want to like get a higher rank so you feel you get more recognition you get more attention and when you're not getting that and you're starting to lose then these emotions of like for example unworthiness start being triggered you're feeling a deep sadness or something and that negative emotion then wants to kind of be fed even more and you start to go on this tilt where you're starting to unconsciously just feed more of that negative like thrive on that negative emotion almost which is a very toxic behavior obviously it's a very self-destructive behavior uh, to feed this negative emotion and that's where we now have to work on and put the stop to it because it's not that easy of a process to dive so deep into yourself to be able to let go of all these negative emotions like immediately and be so aware of them but we can at least become aware of it now that you've heard all of this that you can reflect on yourself when you're losing games just see or look feel into yourself if you've got like negative emotions being triggered if there's like sadness being triggered and that should be your trigger to then take a break from the game that's at this point the only thing the only good thing you can do for yourself if you don't want to like throw your rankings out of the window and everything like that or throw your money out of the window like in poker if you don't want to do that then the best thing you can start right now is to really reflect on yourself if you handled a loss well or not because there are stages where we're more emotionally stable and we get a loss and we're like yeah whatever next game's gonna be better let's go i'm motivated but then something in your personal life happens some shit in your work environment in your school something with your parents with your friends happens and you're already triggered from that and suddenly you start playing, you start losing, and it gets these emotions then come up even stronger and you're like stuck in this deep sadness or something. And that's really what you want to reflect on and then take a break. That's the only thing you can do. The best things I can really recommend is taking a break and going outside, actually like going outside, breathing fresh air. And if you can, nature. Nature is like the ultimate healer for these these kind of emotional things like just getting into that peaceful nature environment of like a nice deep forest ocean lakes mountains anything you have around if you're in a big city find a nice beautiful park that you have around so something go out sit in the park for a while you will see as you're starting to like take some deep breaths at the fresh air your mind's going to start like slowing down and starting to calm down a little bit again. The emotion is going to start to like calm down a little bit again. And after a while, it might even shift into motivation again. When the emotion, the negative emotion fades, you're going to start to feel suddenly the motivation coming back in. Be like, all right, I've dealt with it. Let's go into the game again with a positive mindset. And you go in and play positive game again like other things that could help you is um obviously like meeting some friends doing something else doing something that's fun like doing something else that's fun playing a sport or something meeting a friend to play some soccer or things like that but really really don't just like stay in that state and stay in the game and queue and queue and queue and suddenly you're on a 10 game loss streak without even like fully consciously realizing it really try to reflect catch yourself early maybe you catch it after the second or third loss that you're like all right i'm tilted i can feel it let's remember what killian said just turn off the monitor go outside take your shoes go outside breathe some fresh air try to like meditate breathe deeply, listen to some good music, things that cheer you up, like cheerful music. Um, all these things can 
can just like change your emotional state. Uh, do the laundry, some people do that. Some other productive things in your household or something. Clean your room, this gives you often a good feeling about yourself and shifting your emotion and then go back into the game. And yeah, you, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Keep this reminder, reflect on your emotional state before you go and join more ranked games. I am guilty of that because I can speak from experience here. This is why I'm talking about this because I've struggled with tilt so much in the past and I'm still sometimes struggling with it myself and I'm trying to well, get better and better and better at it and that's all we can do. And this is a huge step for the whole community if everyone can improve on that because it will actually lower toxicity by so much because a lot of people that are becoming toxic in the game are actually just basically on tilt, uh, sometimes even on tilt before they even go into the game because they're not reflecting and not feeling into the emotional state before they're starting to join games and rank games. So I hope this helped. I hope this video was helpful to you and I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day and stay positive.